Hi everyone and welcome to Greta's Yoga YouTube channel. If you see behind me, we have my spirit animal, a bunny. I don't know if you can see him right back there. He lives at our house. He has a little rabbit hole underneath our shed and he has a family. So hopefully he'll join us for our practice. Super exciting to see that and welcome little critters onto our show. So maybe you're practicing with your pets at home. Um, so today we are going to do a sun and moon uh, salutations. So with the body, we have the left and right side body. We have the left, which is, corresponds with the moon, with um, being calm, with cooling uh, female attributes essentially. And then on the right side, it's hot, it's the sun, it's more masculine attributes. Um, it gets like the fire going, gets really heated up. Uh, so that's why in the morning you want to practice with the sun to help build the energy, build the fire. So if you take traditional Hatha classes, you want to start with doing five rounds of sun salutations and five rounds of moon salutations. Um, it's important to keep them balanced. Sometimes we do do more uh, moon salutations than sun salutations because we'd rather cool the body down, then warm it up. Today I'm going to go through how to do the sun and moon salutations to help balance out the different energy bodies. We have two different energies, our left and right nostril, and nadi is the Sanskrit word for energy. So we have a bunch of different energy nadis flowing through. The two biggest ones are the left and right nostril. And when we are able to balance those nostril, those nadis out, we come to our third nadi, which essentially is enlightenment state. So with doing sun and moon salutations, this helps us to come closer to that enlightenment state to bring balance and um, ease into our life. So with all that being said, we're going to begin with our morning or our warm up meditation. And we're gonna do that in standing position uh, because most of this uh, asanas will be standing, essentially. So go ahead and bring your feet together or hip distance apart, whatever makes you feel stronger in your stance, in your mountain pose, trying to ground through the four corners of our feet here. So we're gonna tuck the tailbone down, engage the thighs, engage the core here. It's a very active stretch um, or asana in just mountain standing pose. We'll bring our palms facing forward, fingers spread apart, shoulders rounded down and back as we bring our heart forward. We can go ahead and close our eyes here, have a soft gaze right at the ground in front of us. Notice if you're feeling too hot or too cold and maybe your intention to help is to help cool or to help bring heat into your body here. We're really focusing on balancing so we can even have the intention or the mantra, I am balanced and invite that into our practice. I am balanced. All right, one more deep breath. Let's go ahead and open the eyes, put a smile on our mouths. And we're gonna come to the top of our mat. So traditionally, you wanna take one foot length step back. So if you put your toes right in line with the top of your yoga mat, and then use your other foot to come right about where your heel is, and then bring your foot next to that so they're right in line with you as others. That's ideally how we want to stand on our yoga mat. If you're like me and you're on grass, it's kind of unlevel, so just kind of got to feel it out for what makes you balanced. So we're going to do three rounds of sun and moon salutation. I will go through the first round a little bit slower and then we really want to try to connect the breath with each movement. So I'll work through it with the breath in the movements. Um, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to just do it in your own breath in your own time and eventually we'll all be in the same spot. So to start, you're gonna inhale, arms up overhead 
and then exhaling forward fold all the way down we're going to inhale coming to halfway lift flat back and then exhaling releasing forward fold planting the hands here we're going to step one foot back and then the other slight plank pose and then we're immediately going to go to downward facing dog We'll take a breath in downward facing dog and then with sun traditionally since it's our right side our right nostril we want to start with the right leg so we're going to inhale the right leg up high and then exhaling it bringing it forward Oops, scared the bunny friend a little bit and then dropping the knee here we're going to inhale up arms come down fingertips spread wide We'll just take one inhale in this pose. On our exhale, we're going to round forward and step back into plank pose. From plank pose, we're going to eight limb chaturanga. So when we do regular chaturanga like this, we just have four points of contact, just two feet, two hands. With this one, we're going to drop the knees. So now we're at two, four, six. And then our chest is our and chin are the eight, so um, seven, eight. So eight limb chaturanga will look like this. The hips are up high. And then we're gonna inhale, pushing through to a cobra pose. And then exhaling, pushing to downward facing dog. Then we're going to inhale the left leg up high, exhaling, stepping it through. And then on our inhale, bringing the arms or the torso up, arms down. And then exhaling, planting down, stepping back. And instead of eight limb chaturanga, we're gonna go straight to downward facing dog. And we're gonna take three deep breaths here. And then on our inhale, we're gonna look in between our hands. And if you have a good practice, you can hop to the top of your mat to come into halfway lift. If you're not there yet, you can just step your way, but we're not gonna go downward forward fold. We're coming to a halfway lift. From our halfway lift, we're going to then exhale and come into a forward fold. And then we're going to root to rise as we inhale, bring our arms up overhead and exhale, release the hands to heart center. So that was the first round of our sun salutation. We'll do two more, a little bit faster, connecting the movement with the breath, and then we'll slow it down to go over moon salutation. So getting into your correct stance here, <sighs> taking a moment. And we'll begin inhaling, arms up overhead, exhaling, forward fold, inhaling, halfway lift, exhaling, forward fold, planting the hands and stepping back to downward facing dog. Inhaling the right leg up high, exhaling, stepping through, dropping that knee, and inhaling, torso up. Exhaling, releasing, stepping back, Eight limb chaturanga on an exhale. Inhaling cobra. Exhaling downward facing dog. Inhaling left leg up. Exhaling stepping it through. Inhaling torso up. Exhaling releasing. Stepping back downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Stepping through, look, or looking up at your inhale, hopping to halfway lift on your exhale. Releasing down, forward fold, inhaling, coming all the way up, arms up overhead, exhaling, releasing. All right, one more round, a little bit faster. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, fold, inhaling, lift, exhaling, hopping back to plank pose, downward facing dog, inhaling right leg up, exhaling, stepping through, inhaling, torso up, 
Heart show up. Exhale and releasing eight limbs, chaturanga. Inhaling cobra. Exhaling downward facing dog. Inhaling leg up high. Exhaling stepping through. Inhaling up. Exhaling full through. Stepping back. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Looking through on an inhale and hopping up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling hands up overhead. Exhaling releasing. Awesome job. That was three rounds of sun salutation. Do you feel the heat? Do you feel the energy? So again, traditionally, you would start five of these at the beginning of your practice to really warm up the body, get the energy flowing, get all that nadis going. So sun sal or moon salutation is the more passive side. It's the moon side, obviously, because it's called moon salutation. Uh, <laughs> and it's the left side of the body. And with this one, we're going to start with the left leg. Um, it's pretty similar to sun salutation. The only difference um, is we'll bring our hands up instead of bringing our arms by our side. Um, I'll go through it against one slow, and then we'll do two a little bit faster, trying to connect the movement with the breath. So finding that correct pose, have our bunny friend joining us again. We're going to inhale our arms up overhead, exhaling forward fold here, inhaling halfway lift, exhaling forward fold, planting the hands. You can step or hop back to plank pose and then going into downward facing dog. We're going to inhale the left leg up high to start, exhaling, bringing that foot through. Coming the back knee, this time we're going to inhale the arms up overhead, creating this nice opening of the chest, expanding through the chest. We're not compromising the lower back here, we're only expanding through the upper back, drawing our shoulders away from the ears. And then that's our inhale, and then exhaling, coming back to plank pose. We're going to again go through an eight limb chaturanga. So dropping the knees, the chest, and the chin, and inhaling, pushing through to Cobra, and exhaling, downward facing dog. We'll inhale the right leg up high, exhaling, stepping it through, dropping that back knee, and inhaling, torso and arms up, exhaling, releasing, stepping back to downward facing dog, taking three breaths here. And then inhaling, looking forward, stepping or hopping to a halfway lift, exhaling, forward fold, and then inhaling, bringing the hands up overhead, exhaling, releasing hands to heart center. Awesome. So that was the first round of moon salutation. So we'll do two more, drawing the energy, the calming aspect. We might still feel some heat as we go pretty fast. So inhaling, arms up overhead, exhaling, forward fold, inhaling, halfway lift, exhaling, releasing, stepping back to our downward facing dog, inhaling, left leg up high, exhaling, dropping the knee down and inhaling, the torso up, exhaling, releasing, stepping back, eight limb chaturanga on your exhale. Inhaling to Cobra, exhaling downward facing dog. Inhaling right leg up high, exhaling, stepping it through, dropping the back knee, and inhaling the torso up. Exhaling, releasing the hands down, stepping back to downward facing dog. Three breaths. And then looking to see the hands, you know, hopping on an inhale, 
and exhaling forward fold inhaling root to rise as we bring the hands up overhead and exhaling hands to heart center Whew. all right last round here we go inhaling arms up overhead exhaling forward fold inhaling halfway lift exhaling folding stepping back downward facing dog Inhaling, left leg up high. Exhaling, stepping forward, back knee down. Inhaling, torso up. Exhaling, releasing, stepping back. Eight limb chaturanga. Inhaling, pushing through. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg up. Exhaling, stepping through. Dropping the back knee and inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhaling, stepping back, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Inhaling to look forward, hop up, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And exhaling, hands to heart center. Go ahead and close your eyes here if they're not already. Check in with the breath, with the energy, with the body. Notice how you're feeling. If you feel like you've awakened the nadis inside of you. Thank you so much for being here and showing up. I hope you're feeling balanced. I hope you enjoy the presence of the bunny here. And just a friendly reminder that everyone learns sun and moon salutations differently. So maybe you've learned sun salutations in the past before, and it's a little bit different than what I've taught you. That's totally fine if you've learned it a different way. You can, you're more than welcome to practice that. Uh, what I am providing to you is just suggestions and uh, what I've learned through the different teachings and practices that I've had. And I find that um, the way I learn with connecting the mind and the breath is really helpful in my own practice and that might not be true for you. And um, that's whatever you want to do. I'm happy to be here to be your guide and um, go along with you on this journey. So thank you for showing up, for being here. And I look forward to seeing you soon. <sighs> Namaste.